Bruh, if you're not taking spiritual baths yet, I'm about to push you on. Because everybody, everybody hears about them. Some people do them. But do you know what the bath is doing? So first, all matter is made of atoms. All right. Remember this because I'm going to come back to this point. So first, you want to have all elements present. So light some candles around the tub. And then the water needs to be hot. And place whatever crystals you want in the water as well. Burn some sage. Open the window to get the air element involved. Me, I put my crystals in the dirt, cleansed them, and then I put them in the water. But what I also did was I played one of these frequencies. I played a 963, put it on a speaker, and placed the speaker in the water. And of course, you want to throw salt in the water as well. So you have candles around, you have salt in the water, crystals, and frequencies playing throughout the water to completely charge the bath. But you also let it sit for 20 minutes, not only to charge, but so the water can cool down. Now, the science that goes into all of this, the depths behind this shit, man. But let's touch on everything that's going on right now. So you got the crystals charging the water. You got the frequencies playing in the water to further charge it even more. Changing the crystalline structure of the water, literally. When you light your candles, whatever the energy it is you want to change about yourself, set that intention when you're lighting the candles. And then the salt makes the water a bigger conductor of electricity and neutralizes negativity. But that's not all. It goes even deeper. So by the time you need to get in, the water should still be steaming a little bit, but not hot enough to where you can't get in. But what does heat do to atoms? It speeds them hoes up. It gets them active. It gets them activated. So when our temperatures rise, our pores open and then we start sweating. We start releasing toxins. But everything in the water is activated even more now because, the, because of the heat of the water. So the salt's healing powers are activated more. So as soon as the toxins are released from your body, that negativity is instantly neutralized. The crystals too. The healing power of these crystals are activated even more now. The water in general, you already programmed it with a frequency. It's activated even more now. But I'm still not done. Now, this is where I'm going to lose people. You are 70% water. You are not separate from the water. So whatever energy you give to the water, it'll give right back to you. So start pumping your legs. Start moving your legs around a little bit. Just get some energy flowing in the water. And then it'll give that energy right back to you. Why? Because you are the water. The water is you. You are not separate from this element. You can sit still while you meditate or whatever, but once you start getting energy moving throughout the water, it's literally just going to increase its healing power. Y'all, this shit is deep. Take a bath.